What's up guys, Chase here to talk a little bit about um, one of my favorite, one of my most cherished projects um, that I've ever completed, the Fouquet Blanc. Sorry, see if we can get a good picture there. Fouquet Blanc, yes, it is in cans. So um, before I open it, just wanna give a little bit of a background. So basically, I do have a little bit of a tough time describing this to people. I tend to call it a wine hybrid beverage. Um, but essentially I've been calling it more and more kind of like a wine tea. Uh, and the basic idea behind that is, um, this is a low ABV sparkling beverage, uh, that I make from two ingredients, grape skins and water. Uh, and so essentially the way that that works is when we, um, bring in fruit to the winery and we press those grapes, um, the skins at the end are kind of spent, right? They go into compost all over the world and that's basically where they go. Well, I take those grape skins, I put them back into a tank um, and I rehydrate them uh, with a very specific amount of water um, and depending on the amount of grape skins there are. And uh, then I let them steep like tea. And then I repress that liquid um, and what pretty much comes out uh, after fermentation is this sort of light bodied, low ABV at about six and a half percent alcohol, seven percent alcohol um, beverage that I then carbonate and put into can. I started by putting it into bottles, um, creating kind of what we would refer to as sort of a, a pet nat style out of it. Then I started putting it in kegs. We have it in kegs at the tasting room on tap, um, which many of you have had over the years. Um, and then uh, the most recent uh, edition of the Fouquet we put into cans, into 12 ounce cans, which I think is, is my greatest creation. Uh, I love it. I think it tastes the best in cans and it's super friendly. I bring this to the beach. Um, I have it by the pool, the lake, whatever. It's super easy. Um, I have it at the tasting room at the car cabin when we're listening to music. It's just like the easiest beverage to consume and super, super fun. Um, so we did make a red, which many of you have had. Um, that's sold out. We still have the white. Um, this is from seven different varieties that I use that I kind of make a field blend with. Um, and it's just absolutely epic. It's just one of those things that I love drinking in the summertime. Um, it's got kind of the way I sort of pitch it. Um, it won't make you feel bloated like beer. Um, it's safer to drink in large quantities than hard kombucha. You really shouldn't drink. Um, a lot of hard kombucha, uh, you know, that's not what they want to tell you. And then I, I also think it's, it's a much more natural product than a lot of the seltzers that are out there these days. I think you guys know that. Um, again, grape skins, water, no additions of any kind, no sulfur, nothing. It is just pure, um, pure fun in a can. So I'm going to open it up. Let's get a little, there you go. And uh, just for effect, so you guys can kind of catch the vibe here. Ooh, a little windy, spilled there. <laughs> but you can see, kind of develops a little bit of a, a head on it, kind of like a beer. Um, super aromatic in the glass. It's kind of like um, tropical fruits, citrus fruits, citrus pith, um, and kind of almost has this sort of electricity that kind of makes your mouth salivate a little bit. So let's try it. Um, almost drinks like a light, light sour beer. So the, the white to me is quite, has this sort of, um, has definitely a higher acidity than the red, but it's just got this beautiful little tart quality. Um, so you get all those sort of tropical fruits. Again, like I said, definitely citrus, um, kind of like this really tasteful citrus bitterness, like a pith or like, um, kind of the inside of citrus skin kind of thing. Um, so that's like beautiful, yeah, like peel, citrus peel, that sort of vibe. Um, and you got kind of a little bit of herbal profile. It's just really tasty and delicious and it's perfect for the pool, like I said, or just to bring the beach, throw in a cooler. Uh, that's why I moved it from having it in bottles to putting it in cans, just because I think that it makes it that much easier to consume. Um, one thing I'd also like to mention, it's a 12 ounce can, okay? This is gonna kind of trip most of you guys up. So a bottle of wine is 25 ounces, basically. So this is a 12 ounce count. This is half a bottle of wine in sort of the, the physical quantity, right? Um, 
it's six and a half percent alcohol, which is the same, you know, let's say it's a tiny bit more than a session beer, but that's about a beer in terms of the alcohol percentage, um, particularly a craft beer. Um, but it's a half a bottle of wine and it's actual, so two of these cans is like drinking a full bottle of wine. That's not a bad thing with, at this alcohol percentage. I mean, again, if you were having beer, it's the exact same amount in its quantity. Um, but I think that puts it in a perspective when you buy a six pack of this, it's like buying three bottles of wine. So that's important just to give you that kind of idea of value of what you're getting in a six pack. Um, and at $36 retail, I think that's a hell of a deal. That's $12 a bottle. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this. I really, um, I just want to spread the love. It's something that we drink all year round, particularly during harvest. I come home from work and I drink this. It's just easy. It's a perfect front porch. It's not super serious. And um, none of your friends will probably have this. So you can definitely impress them with the new thing that's better than all that other stuff that all the cool kids are drinking these days. Try something different, try something natural. Check out this Fouquet and uh, cheers to summer. Love you guys.